we'll have to solve this question by using the length contraction formula. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to hit and plug in the variables that were given. We were told that the super train has a proper length of 100 meters, and we were told it's traveling at 0.95 times the speed of light. So when we go ahead and solve, we'll get a contracted length of 31.22 meters. So this is the new length of the super train when it's going 0.95 times the speed of light. Now the question is saying, is the train ever completely within the tunnel? And the answer to that is yes, because as you can see here, 31.22 meters is smaller than the length of the tunnel, which was 50 meters. But by how much is it smaller by? So to answer that part of the question, you would do 50 minus 31.22 meters, and it's smaller by 19 meters. So the answer to this question is yes, and it is smaller by 19 meters.